Hello, lovely people. It's no magic. No matter how much we invest in reading inspirational books or chant some gurus' mantras, until and unless we inspire ourselves, we cannot be motivated. And in order to inspire ourselves, we can not just look at various motivational quotes, videos, songs, movies. The list is endless. It is not going to help until and unless we inspire ourselves. And that's where I want to talk about today about self-reliance. We are always in doubt about ourselves. Can I do that? Can I achieve it? Will I be able to do that? Uh, it's too difficult for myself. Well, break the shackles. You are a marvelous piece made by God. You're the best engineering product any one could ever make. Look at yourself that way. You're the supercomputer. You're everything. And you can achieve everything. You have to have faith in yourself. A lot of people wait on others to motivate you. A lot of, lot of us think about others to motivate us to do certain things. Well, if we are going to wait, we can wait all our life and nothing is going to change. If we want change, we have to work for it and we have to remove that doubt from our mind. We cannot doubt ourselves. Even if we are doubting ourselves, we want to overcome that by hard work, by learning, by studying, by making ourselves strong. And unless we do that, we won't be able to come out of the doubt. So if you doubt that you cannot do that 30 push-ups, well, let's start counting. So we got to make ourselves strong. We got to make ourselves adaptable. We have to train ourselves. Being motivated is not easy. I, I agree to that and, and I totally, totally connect to it. It is not easy at all. But there are two important things that we have to keep with us all the time. And that is being resilient. You want to achieve something, you're super motivated, you try and you fail. Don't lose hope. Take that failure as a learning. And when you take that failure as a learning, you definitely find something that you could have done to be successful. And you try it again and again and again till you succeed. I hope we all have heard that ant story. So being resilient is of importance. And along with that, we always need to have growth mindset. As I said, consider each failure a stepping stone towards success. Right? Last week, Gary V shared a quote. Well, it's his quote and he says being accountable and beating yourself up for something are two different things being accountable is great being accountable is showing ownership being accountable is super cool but at the same time beating yourself up because something went wrong is stupid If something went wrong, it just went wrong. Unless, and if you keep beating yourself and if you keep thinking why it went wrong, maybe I'm at fault, maybe it's just because of me, maybe I'm the guy who caused it. You're not moving forward. You're not finding what went wrong, solving that and moving forward. And that's what I think we need to keep in our mind as in order to move forward, from every failure, we have to find what failed 
what caused the failure and then work towards solving that solve it and move forward go one step further and you will be successful so when you mix being resilient and growth mindset you become successful at whatever you do and if you break these into smaller 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 tasks you get that motivation pill after every successful interval the moment we get success we get energy and we get motivated so break your journey into smaller successful stories and each story of yours fill it with resiliency and growth mindset if you do that you will be successful not only on those small stories but the long haul that you have been looking for i'm working on it you also work on it and together we'll be successful bye bye